video about welcome to this video about the former mission hall at Patmore Heath in the parish of Albury in North East Hertfordshire. Its location is clearly shown on this Ordnance Survey map from the end of the 19th century, courtesy of side-by-side -side maps from the National Library of Scotland. A planning application for conversion to housing was refused in late 2016 due to the harm it might cause to the rural character of the site. In 2020, East Hearts District Council added it to the Patmore Heath Conservation Area, quoting some of the information from my Hertfordshire Churches in Photographs website. And here it is. This is the outside. It's a weather, weather boarded timber frame building. It's obviously seen better days, but then it has been closed for over half a century. I visited it in February 2017, and it was obviously derelict then, and it is in much the state, same state as it was then now. The, the only brick built part of the building is at the one end where there is a vestry, which we'll see the inside of later, which has a fireplace in it. So here we go into the chapel. You can see iron framed window, which perhaps contained colored glass at one time. And you can see the timber framing behind the, wo the wood boarding. Inside, it's obviously been graffitied at some time, though most of that seems to have been painted out. Um, and again, that was the same state in 2017 as it is in 2021. There's an abandoned harmonium laying on the floor, of which no details are known. You can also see that there are various domestic things, and there's a bath and a mattress. And as we come round here, you'll see mysteriously an, electric, an old electric cooker. One of the few architectural features left is this rather nicely shaped uh, weatherboard that marks the front door, and there's the inside of the window. Here we have the closer view of the harmonium laying on its side and obviously way beyond repair I would imagine. You can see the whole interior is just just a mess though most of the interior boarding still seems to survive. Remains of a light fitting and some ventilation in the roof. The building is founded by a man called John Caton who was a local shopkeeper and primitive Methodist. One source I've got suggests it was built in 1885, but another source, the website My Primitive Methods, suggests it was built around 1870 and actually passed to the Congregational Church in some time before the 1950s, during which decade it closed. This is the vestry with the fireplace. And... Uh, As we come back across the stage, a couple of steps up, and some more views of the interior. This is what you see from the hole in the wall, a vast bank of brambles. At one time it was possible to get round and in that way, but not now. This is the entrance porch. Again, you see one of the few other few concessions to church-like architecture, the Gothic arch on the main door in the porch.